Hey everybody, Z here. Um, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the, uh, the issue that I'm dealing with, and it might be also um, a nightmare that for uh, the SPS keeper. Uh, essentially, what I found out recently is that uh, there are some aquapora eating bugs uh, in my tank. Um, how I found out was one of the colonies. Um, uh, to be specific, is this one. Um, I recently I found out this colony uh, started to lose some polyp extension, and um, also, of course, there are some issue whiting uh, or STN. Not really STN because the uh, tissue loss starts uh, from the middle of the coral or middle of the colony. So I start really kind of looking into um, this one and uh, I found out some uh, acropora eating bugs. Uh, essentially some like pot like uh, bugs crawling all over the coral. Um, and, uh, and it's pretty sure that this colony is stressed out. Uh, if we close, look at it closely, uh, it doesn't have any polyp extension and uh, it just, yeah, looks stressed out. Um, I also found out some aquapora eating bugs uh, on some other colonies. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna try to treat the tank with uh, interceptors, which is a known um, medicine that uh, uh, usually being used to kill red bugs. Um, but in my case, it's not really a red box. Um, it's something like white uh, or gray not even black box. Um, I'm gonna pull up some macro shots that I, uh, I took, uh, just closely looking at what kind of bugs I'm dealing with. Hopefully the interceptor also works on those kind of bugs. Um, I'm gonna uh, do a macro shot and uh, while I'm shooting the coral uh, or the bugs, I'm gonna uh, put the interceptor in my tank and we'll see uh, how it affects the uh, the bugs. Alrighty, uh, let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna put the medicine down. I can still see crawling. Still crawling. Still crawling. I don't see it kind of uh, just uh, wiggle off. Still crawling. I think it's foggy, it's very foggy.
um, today is 48 hours after the uh, second treatment um, so far I haven't found any aquaporating box in my system so um, that's good news uh, I'm gonna do two follow, following uh, treatment uh, essentially one after every uh, water change in the following two weeks um, Hopefully that will get rid of uh, all the uh, lava or we're following up another round of uh, aquapora eating bugs. Um, essentially to sum up what I did, um, uh, I used Interceptor Plus, uh, essentially is this one. This is what I used. Um, the medicine that we need, it's actually the Mibibicin. Um the pill I have contains uh, maybe medicine also contains press control. Uh, press control, it's uh, essentially a dewormer. Uh, it's not related to aquarium bugs at all. So that's essentially just a plus. Um, the pill that I have contains 23 uh, milligram of uh, maybe medicine. Uh, essentially, from my doctor's advice, um, essentially I need one pill or well, one pill will treat 300 gallon of the system. My system is about 150 gallon, so I have to use half a pill. So essentially, I need 11.5 milligram of mevomycin to treat my system. Uh, that's essentially the dosage. Um, from doctor's advice, 23 milligram of mevomycin treats three, roughly about 300 gallons. Um, yeah. So the uh, price quantum it's just the A plus. If your fish have a kind of wide stringy poops, you can um, use that as well. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't have any effect to the corals or, or invertebrates. But uh, the maybe my soon will essentially have a negative effect on on your inverts, uh, including uh, shrimp. Uh, your cleaning shrimp will essentially. Uh, being killed as well by this uh, medicine depends on how we'll say Strong you are cleaning shrimp. So my cleaning shrimp uh, survived the first treatment. I saw it was okay. So but uh, yeah, it, it kind of uh, It died sadly during the second treatment Yeah, so essentially this was when what do we need? Uh, maybe medicine um, You will need to contact your local vet um, who kind of specialize in exotic animals to get this prescription. It's a prescriptive uh, uh, medicine. Um, yeah, so that's what I use. Um, so I, so far I've, I've, done, I've done two treatments. Uh, the first treatment I use half the pill, as I mentioned, I dissolve it with hot water. Um, I, use, I just use the boiled tap water. Um, so the boiled water is just easier for me to um, dissolve the pill. Uh, so after I dose the first pill or first treatment, um, five, hour, five hours after that, I can see uh, some of the bristle worms, uh, some pots are flying around in the system, but I can still see uh, the aquarium bugs on the coral. Um, really not really uh, being affected until like 18 hours mark uh, everything I can see majority of the aquarium box are gone but I can still see one or two um, that continues happen to, I mean till the 24 hours mark I can still see a couple of uh, aqua, aquabora eating box on the coral so I decided to do a second treatment but before my second treatment uh, I did a water change essentially a 15% water change before I uh, started my uh, second uh, treatment. Uh, essentially my second treatment is the same. Um, I use the boiled water or hot water to dissolve the second half of the pill. Um, like 24 hours after the second treatment, I can no longer see any of the uh, uh, aquapora eating bugs. So today is 48 hours. Um, um, I would say everything's fine or the aquapora is fine. 
except I lost my uh, cleaner shrimp. Um, I couldn't just I, I couldn't catch it because it just uh, yeah it was too smart. Um, yeah, uh, that's the update for my interceptor treatment, which for the Aquapora eating box. Uh, if you have red box or black box, you can also use the interceptor. Um, it's reef safe, however, it's not inverse safe. Um, essentially, it's going to kill all the pots, all the uh, cobalt pots or any pots in your system. It will essentially, yeah, wipe out your pots, pots colony. But they are coming back uh, pretty soon after. So I can, right now, like 48 hours after second treatment, I can spot some uh, pots somewhere in the system. So um, uh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, other than that, uh, my tank is still having, well, so far, the damage is not that bad. Um, the damage is mainly on the cores that I don't like, uh, like I mentioned last time. But uh, the damage is still going on. Uh, I feel like slowing down. So I will keep monitoring the system, uh, keep monitoring the water parameters. Uh, hopefully, uh, everything will be uh, back on the track. Alrighty, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.